Frogs here, and the Horn Frogs need a win as they host number 15, Baylor. He is Baylor's leading scorer, and coming off a game-high 23 points in a very tough loss in overtime at home to the now number one team in the country, the Houston Cougars. In the 11 NCAA tournaments, five sweet 16s, three elite eights, a national championship. He has built this team back from the cellar. Good pass. Nice lob. Going off the disappointment of that loss. And the missed free throw at home against Houston. Bridges, probably their best shooter, and he knocks that down. Here's the prize freshman, Walter gives off. And now get a shot clock under 10. Walter has it blocked. Wow. CTC so try to catch the ball in the middle of that zone. They look opposite. There's a lot of work coming from the weak side. Wow. Good rebound. Cork might have gone over the back. Oh, 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 yeah. oh look at Nelson. Exploding to the basket. How about the 6-2 Jameer Nelson? Purple and the white in full effect here. The Frogs and the Bears. John Shambi, Jay Williams, and Chris Button, and Jalen Bridges knocking down his third three of the game. He Got to stay attached to Bridges' hip 24-7, force him to put the ball on the ground. That one knocked away from Joshua Chanyua. None will try. And that shot short. Peavy, good shot up ahead to Cousins, who flips it in. Little floater, got it. That's a shot that he's able to hit. Got away with a little offensive foul there with a the hook, but still finding a way to get to the rim and create a shot for himself or a teammate. Coles gets inside. Puts it in and Jacoby Coles to the line. TCU leading it by a couple. Walter, catch and shoot, got it. Inside, and Morton able to put it home, and he's off to a good start with six points. On the baseline, floater wouldn't go for Tennessee. Rebound, Miller, shot blocked, Nisi got a piece of that. Uh, but I think you've seen Scott Drew the last two games try to play more zone because he has multiple guys playing 34, 35, 36 minutes per night. Ray J. Dennis flipped it up. Here the first half in Fort Worth. Schollmeyer, Rita, John Chompy, Jay Williams, Chris Budd. That one knocked away from Bridges. No call there. And it's Nelson. Oh, behind the back. Give off Miller at the basket. And one. Shot clock winding down. Walter here at the basket. Had it blocked. That's a shot clock violation. Indeed it is. A really good defensive possession. Got to go. Got to get this moving. None at the basket. Had it rejected. Houston is the only team with a winning road record in the league. it down Nelson probing looking for something and that is Miller able to knock one down Emmanuel Miller first three of the night for the Horn Frogs first time we've seen TCU actually screen the top of the zone and create those mismatches Rob inside and Macy throws it down getting him going offensively is going to be critical Nelson, Tough shot. and he knocks it down, Jameer Nelson Jr. Nelson picks up the dribble, gives off. Nelson has it back, good give off, and Cork puts it in. With 12 early points in the first half, BC collects, kicks out. Walter puts it on the floor and then throws it down with two hands. That's great body control right there. We're going to see Jacoby Walter just utilizing the ball fake, getting the guy up in the air. And this one's always playing point. Dennis puts it on the deck. Shot clock winding down. And are they going to score it? Yes, they are. Wow. 
Tennyson had it blocked by none, gets it back. High arcing shot, short. Bridges pulls down the rebound. Ray J. Dennis. Dennis to the corner. And that one knocked down by the freshman. Jacoby Walter hits the three. He's got 13. The Bears have knocked down seven three pointers in this one. None for Dennis. And gets it to go. A big three for Jake Nunn. So Baylor doesn't have a lot of guys that can create plays off the dribble. As you see, Ray Dennis actually create a play off the dribble, but still. Good look inside, and the shot was blocked. So the shot is blocked, they get the rebound, and then that leads to a three-point shot by Jacoby Walker. They shot 28% from the floor. Patino coaches. He coaches hard. It's not for everybody, but he gets his team to respond. It can be both, can it? Yeah. Can he throw them under the bus and they respond? Well, I learned that as soon as a coach stops yelling at you, that's when you have a problem. Good hands. Bridges comes away with it. Feed inside. Me see the stuff. You know, guess what's really going on with that long term? Dennis pulls down the miss from Tennyson. Lob up ahead, Bridges puts it in. The lead is 17, Anderson, open three, got it. Nunn puts it on the floor, goes to the basket, Misi puts it in after the miss. I feel like a, a large part of the story of the second half has been Ray J. Dennis kind of controlling this game. Just making good decisions as Jacoby Cole knocks it down. But Dennis had the ball in his hands a ton. I would say at this point, like, we've sort of proven it's hard to have nice things. So let's maybe shut it down for a little let's bit. Shut it down. Nelson knocks it down. I like to do my finger wagging at the finger waggers. Yeah. So, like, next pass inside and Misi throws it down. Dennis with a shot clock under 10. Gets inside, has it knocked away. Saturday will be on ABC. Oh, the call of that. Fran for Schillers. Oh, we'll be doing game day leading right into that from Tennessee at Alabama. And Walter into the front court, and Baylor will leave with a big road win. The Bears move into fourth place. In the Big 12, 62-54. And that'll do it here from Fort Worth.